All right, next question is, hey Fritz, have you ever <clears throat> experienced someone who couldn't future pace? Like they can't see any resources for the future. Uh, how do I address this client? Good question. So future pacing um, is really a method that we use when we, um, sorry, got distracted. So future pacing is something that we use to help our clients to formulate resources for them to use in the future, right? Another coping mechanism uh, to help them find a solution to their problem, a resource to their problem. Um, this is not something that we specifically do in advanced conversational hypnosis. We don't future pace. We um, don't even specifically ask solution-based questions. We do test though, and that is our form of future pacing. But what happens if neither a future pacing or a um, or our testing is revealing that it hasn't worked, like they still are into the problem? So what we would do, or what why that happens first off, is there that there are still a lot of knots in our client's mind, and we really just haven't explored the actual root of the problem to begin with. So the driver of whatever that problem is, is still very much active and strong within our clients and that, you know, they cannot future place. They, if, if it's someone who um, comes to us with symptoms of anxiety and they cannot visualize a life when, where they're calm yet, right? So that driver of their anxiety is still very much strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep exploring that driver until that, um, that dissipates, that, 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 you know, that hold dissipates, that stuckness is, is moving and is no longer stuck. It's now swishing around and it's about to like burst for lack of a better metaphor. So really one of the best things, like if I'm finding that, you know, testing is still revealing a lot of knots and they haven't really had that internal shift, I would just keep going, keep going with my questioning, keep going on um, looking for so the, their unconscious expressions and making sure that I use their unconscious expressions um, through questioning. And I would just keep on hammering and picking at, um, at that problem until until we get there 